Hello, this is Sala1, Renew Video Review. Today I have the Robotech 004 and 005, the Evangelion test type 01 and prototype 00, manufactured by Kyoto on the land Robotech and sculpted by Katsuhisa Yamaguchi. Originally released in 2006, these two figures are the first two Robotech EVAs produced back then for the 10th anniversary of the series. Now we're in the 20th configure. And, well, they featured the original rectangular boxes that Robotech launched with, uh, with a picture of the figure on the side with the number and everything, and some action poses on the back, something that has been kept up to this day. Now, uh, my EVA Unit Zero has some issues with uh, yellowing the plastic, the blister that holds the figure in place has yellowed significantly compared to the other figures. But, uh, well, the strange thing is that this figure is the one that is kept on the back uh, from the sun. And they are also kept inside a locked cabinet, so there's no way that sun gets in anyway, or any or much light, for that matter. And it is also the only figure that has that problem. Uh, this figure would be, oh, this figure would be about the same age, or unit one, and it doesn't, show that issue nor any of the other ones that I've had for more years so let me know if you have this figure and you have the yellowing issue to know it was a thing from the figure or if it was me just being careless back when I just got it well anyways uh, let's take them out and check them so here are the figures out of their boxes now um, the main characteristics of this set, the Neon Genesis Evangelion mold, that is, is the fact that the articulations were back then made in fixed sizes. Therefore, some of them look out of proportion uh, in respect to the figure. For example, uh, while the elbow looks okay, it's the same joint that they are using here on the wrists, where it looks huge and where the hand becomes huge to accommodate the size of the joint pack. So. Um, in this case, they, they some do look okay. For example, the torso here in the middle of the torso, there is one that is exactly like the one on the shoulders, and it, that is the same one on the knees. You can see which one looks rather off. And the thing is that they didn't start making joints to the size of the figure that uh, required them until much later. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think that Narrowable Tech does not make. Uh, uh, the same articulation uh, for the for different figures, which I think it's a plus because that gave us the amazing wrist job that they made for the Evangelion Evolution line, where all the figures had these tiny pegs, where the hands had the, these tiny pegs that could rotate the hands freely without looking like these monstrosities. I, I it's one of the things that I don't like about this mold: the size of the hand. Look, they, they look huge, considering the size of the figure. I mean, just look at that. You could be... Uh, they could break your neck with bitch slapping you. But anyways, um, the articulation on these figures was... Uh, well, it's rather limited compared to the figures nowadays. But back when they were released, they were very good, because uh, most figures, most Neon Genesis Evangelion figures, were rather limited in articulation. Take, for example, the Bandai Metal Kids that, that can hardly stand on their own, and the Sega figures that I think could only move their shoulders and, and elbows. So uh, these figures came as uh, really innovative back then. Uh, unfortunately, the first, since they had no real competition until much later, uh, they didn't make much effort in improving the molds or the sculpts or anything. So uh, the Neon Genesis Evangelion mold looks, um, well, kind of... Uh, how to put it? Um, it looks substandard to other role techs when you compare, for example, the Q figures or the even the 2.0 mold that uh, I, I've said before, it's my favorite. So, um, these figures were pretty much the same. Um, I uh, All the figures from the waist down are the same. Eva Unit 1, Zero, any of them. Eva, these two Evas are the only ones that have different uh, chest pieces because uh, Eva Unit 1 has um, these pieces that are different and uh, this, uh, the yellow Unit 0 has the protruding uh, white ones. 
So from unit 0, the blue version, and units 2, 3, and 4 are all the same, and the only thing that they change is the color and the head swapping. Um, but besides that, the figures are mostly the same. I think they all also come with the same set of hands and stuff. But well, uh, that is not such an issue, because th that's what Robotech does, at least with figures that look the same. So the articulation that these figures have is, uh, well, for times what it was very good, when co considering what we had back then. Uh, these figures, uh, I said, were released in uh, 2006 for the 10th anniversary of Neon Genesis Evangelion. Well, now we're on the 20th anniversary, so there's your figure. So, I'm going to be quick with the articulations. They had this uh, neck articulation in here. It couldn't do that much. That's all it can do. Uh, the articulation is hidden be beneath the neck of the figure. It's that tiny uh, kind of cylindric piece that conceals it and that uh, locks it in place inside the chest of the figure. If it ever uh, happens to fall, uh, I'll leave a link below so that you know how to fix it because uh, well, it's not that difficult. As a matter of fact, I can do it now. We're just going to decapitate the Eva. Oh, yep, he's dead. Um, like this. So. see where I can so here you have the head you can see the articulation it's in two parts here if it ever falls out like this you can see this, this tiny piece here you can see that the articulation it's uh, the two articulation uh, in one as a matter of fact this, this side goes to the head of the neck of the Eva all you have to do to fix it is insert this on the one that is closest to the head, like this. It's just with pressure. And once it's there, this one goes inside the head, all the way in, so that the top of the chest lock this, uh, locks the underside of the neck inside of the rest of the body. And therefore, the head can move and the neck will move along. Because otherwise, sometimes you don't pop it, uh, you don't put it inside correctly and the chest piece ends up like in here and when you move the head down this piece pops out because of the pressure of the head on top so um, it's not that difficult to fix. This, this figure sometimes I get uh, questions about how to change the the pylons of figures and how or, or the neck that are the only pieces that are kind of off, but it, it's only a matter of uh, manipulating the figures enough to know how, how the pieces fit together and how to, to fix them. There's really not, nothing much to them, but um, you can always uh, leave uh, questions in the comments and I'll answer you, for, uh, answer you with all my years of experience. Now, the articulation with these figures is rather simple. There is one articulation on the shoulder, one on the elbow, one on the wrist that allows it the hand to rotate freely and move a bit, not much. One articulation here on the uh, torso. Now see able to bend it back like that. And there's an articulation on the knee and one on the foot. It, it can't do much because it's locked in place. Oh, it's locked in place with the uh, guard here. But uh, well, then there is articulation of the fight in here. There are actually two. I'm going to uh, detail them now because um, they're kind of uh, delicate and they use this uh, kind of articulation all the way into the 2.0 mode. And it's not my favorite, but uh, it helps keep the line of the EVA in place, at least in here. There's one articulation, and these are articulations are just pegs that rotate. There are no joints in here. So, there is one articulation here that allows the EVA to kick all the way here. 
and there's another articulation here on the back you can see the uh, the division here and it, it what it can do is to rotate like this it allows the Eva to twist the leg sideways on the axis of the uh, well the what would be the bone of the figure of the leg of the figure well it's kind of hard to explain but um, the thing with these articulations is that since they are completely exposed and molded into the figure and the painting sometimes they can get stuck they stick together with the gloss or the paint and you have to be very careful with, when dislodging them because otherwise if you twist too hard you can actually break the figure and I'm telling you out of experience my Eva Unit 4 lost one of its legs like that I had to uh, do a complete reconstruction of the leg with a nail and uh, it was complicated but anyways um, the articulation doesn't change at all uh, throughout the mold the only difference is the addition of the pylons that all they can do is uh, swing a little on top of the shoulder like this and since they are fixed to the to the shoulder, they are going to move with it. So um, when you when hand does this, the pattern completely disappears into the back of the Eva. So um, while this is not completely accurate, um, it is sometimes and sometimes it really isn't because um, in the series you could see the Eva twist the arm like this, and the pattern would will would move slightly back, but not all the way back with the arm. Um, I still think that the articulation that they put for Evangelion 13 was the best. And it only took them like, what, 20 years to do that. Oh well. Now, as for the extras. Evangelion Unit 0 comes with the electromagnetic shield. Uh, yes, it was just the electromagnetic shield on the Neon Genesis Evangelion era. Uh, it has this tiny hole so you can uh, stuck, stuck it in the hand like that. Um, I have really never used it. It looks kind of flimsy and I really wouldn't want to break it so uh, when I use it I just stuff the articulation in there without a hand so it ho it's holding it's hold, held in place it stays there. Now uh, Unit Zero also comes with the Positron Rifle used at the beginning of the series episodes 5 and 6 I think it was Yes, it was with the battle with the uh, the angel Ramil. Uh, it's almost this. Well, it's slightly bigger than the figure, the, the figures themselves. It is actually meant to be used with Evangelion Unit C uh, One because the stock of the figure uh, of the rifle uh, fits perfectly on the pylon of the Eva so to hold the shock. It's actually very very nicely detailed. This figure and ah, oh, there you go. Uh, very nicely detailed, uh, the, very nice the detail of this figure. Um, yeah, that's really good, actually. If only there were there, there was a way to put all the wires that it had in the series, it 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 would look really good. Now the unit also comes with the shotgun, never before seen. I think they recycled this later for another figure. It it just looks like a riot shotgun, more or less. Um, it's a shotgun and the umbilical cable all the units come with one of these all you have to do is plug it on the back and it can help stand because it's uh, a wiry thing inside now as for hands the EVA unit comes with those uh, relaxed palms it comes with two tiny fists one with open palm a uh, couple to hold guns and uh, the jacuzzi finger it's very strange, I don't know why would they use this but anyways as for Eva Unit 1 it comes with the pallet gun I don't know what they were called pallet but anyways um, handgun seen briefly in one episode 16 I think it was with the Angel, the zebra angel thing, Leiliel, Leilel. I always forget that one. It's kind of cool, the gun actually. The always present progressive knife, 
of Bengal Unit 1, the only one that looks different, that doesn't look like a cardboard cutter. It comes with a silver paint finish that I really like. And with a sword. I think this came from a video game or something. I'm not sure, but um, they look kind of cool. I, I wonder why I never gave the, the Evas Katanas on the series. Um, actually, in the trailer for Evangelion Final, it seemed that Eva Unit 8 and 2, 8 plus 2, plus 8, I always forget that one too, uh, are running with one of these, and it, it looks really cool actually. It's like a guilty pleasure or, or something to see an Eva with a giant sword. The Eva also comes with a berserk head, very nicely detailed. All you have to do to do is pull the other head and put this one in. And put the Eva in dramatic posing or something like that. Uh, the Eva also comes with its own umbilical cable, like all those figures. And the hands are pretty much the same. There are relaxed palms on the figures. There are gun holding hands. The another relaxed palm head. Two tiny fists for the Eva. And he also has a pointy finger. I guess he has a question here. Anyways, um, these two figures were the first released. As such, they do have some mishaps. I have already mentioned the the sticky problem. This is the first time I'll be able to actually show you what the problem is. And let's ignore just the dumping side. And here you go. You can see these tiny particles that that have stick that have sticken, that stuck, that adhered to well all that crap stick there on the leg of the Eva I can't remove it actually, they kind of melted inside the glossy finish and now they are just dust particles in there uh, that's why I don't recommend leaving these figures uh, out in the open without a case or out of the box or something I keep mine on the on their boxes, so it's not a biggie now. Uh, but I did commit the crime of living Eva Unit Zero out in the open back and back when I just bought it. So well, just uh, be careful with that, especially with these. The first figures had this really sticky issue. But anyways, uh, um, sorry, I have been not reviewing uh, figures lately. I'm busy finishing the thesis, but for my bachelor's degree. Uh, I promise I'll be pu publishing something else soon. Uh, I'm going to go on for now with the Neon Genesis Evangelion figures. I think I'll be reviewing next Eva Unit 0, the blue version, and then by Unit 2. Uh, when I'm finished with all the figures I have, I'm going to start remaking, rebuilding, hey, if you get it, the first videos that I made that were in uh, low definition. I actually started already with the serial video. Uh, but. Well, until then, then I guess I'm going to be comparing the different molds of the figures. But if you want to me to review any other figure in particular, you can always leave a comment below. Also, if you have questions or you ha would you want to share something with us, you can always leave a, the question below or send me a private message. So this was Cella One with a new video review. The Rebel Text number. What is it? Number. I just said it. I had it written down so that I don't forget. Rebel text number 4 and 5, the Evangelion test type unit 0 and prototype double 0, manufactured by Kayoro on the line Rebel tech and sculpted by Katsuhisa Yamaguchi. Visit my blogs, even though I don't publish that often there anymore. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.